Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video I will be sharing three projects using uh, two new fun stencils from Picket Fence. I will start off by using the Gloaming Corner Suns. Uh, it's a really it's a really fun one, it's a must-have for me. I thought this was amazing the first time I saw it and yeah it was really fun and easy to use um, when I got started here. You can see I am using some blending brushes from Picket Fence as well as some ink uh, and I use some um, orange and some yellow colors. I will also use uh, a pink color uh, later on but you can see how fast this is going. Uh, I actually created a couple of panels because I went outside on the first one of course. I'm always doing this. I taped my panel down but I didn't tape the corners so you will see when I go to lift this one I had to do it once more because I had some ink outside the lines. If I then had known what I was going to do, I could have used this pen because I will end up cutting this down a little bit. But you can see here, I'm getting smarter. I have taped down my stencil and my paper. And uh, since I didn't use it in the corner exactly, I had a little bit more put together. I could also have been cutting these apart if I wanted to do them the same time. That had been smart when I'm doing the last technique here when I'm using some paste, but I didn't do that for today's video. I just like to have them attached. But you can see now when I had taped everything down with some painter's tape, everything looks nicely. I will just rotate it and do the other sort of glowing sun here uh, in the lower corner. And um, making sure that I really tape everything down so I don't mess up once more. Taking the same color combination, I'm using that yellow and then the orange in the center just to really make it glow and um, yeah um, this went super fast I sped it up I think two times but in real life this went really fast and I love when you can use uh, stuff you have in your stash combined with some new fun products so I had a blast creating these cards today and yeah you can see here how beautiful that turned out so for this one I used the pink in the center instead and for this one I will also do a fun technique in a second here when I'm just putting some more glitter on top of it. So you can see uh, another color combination here. I really love that um, yellow and orange. I will do that for my third and final project as well. But you can see here how quick that went. And then just some more to the center just to make it really pop. So this is how it looks when I'm lifting the stencil. Look how cute that is. That is just adorable. I hope you, the camera is picking up how crisp those lines are as well. The stencil is really nice uh, quality. And this is uh, the Heat Wave Sun. It's an A2 stencil. And this one was a little bit flimsy to the center part. So you can see I'm just holding my hands at the stencil so it doesn't shift on me. If I had put some like spray glue or something similar to that, pixie dust or Mm, whatever it's called, I don't know, but something to keep the stencil down. It had played a little bit nicely, or nicer, I think. But it went totally fine just with your hands and holding it in place. But if you want it to be even easier, you could have something to hold it down with. It's just a suggestion. And you can see how cute that is with the yellow and that orangey uh, color. So I really like this color combination. I think it turned out super sweet. And now I'm doing a really fun technique. I will do a resist on this one. So I ended up using some uh, Paper Glaze Lux and this is the Twinkling Lights Clear. So you can see it looks quite white but when it dries back it will dry and uh, quite a lot back. Uh, the intensity of the colors will not be like it was before I put this down, but you can definitely see the colors more vibrantly when it has dried. If you want this to be completely glare, uh, clear, you shouldn't use this one, but I wanted this fun texture and I also wanted it to be protecting my image. So now I'm just skipping ahead a little bit. Uh, this is the sentiment I will be using and I just wanted to share a trick with you. I cut this beautiful thanks die out and I put some uh, um, painter's tape on it, the lower part and then I can just easily like uh, turn this around and have my sentiment perfectly aligned so I don't have to fibble around with sentiments uh, on the card. So I just wanted to share that little bit 
of footage and you can see how it looks now when it's dry. I run it through with a new Beyond Basic Vintage Rectangles and Cover Plate dies and then I started to ink blend around my project and I'm just taking a wet rug here and just going over my image to take away all the ink that happened to hand, um, come on the glitter there but you can see how much that resisted. For this I just uh, put it down like this and it went nearly perfectly. You can see that little letter just went out but otherwise I think everything looks stunning. And to create some interest in the background and all sort of tie in with the color scale here, I use some pattern papers from Picket Fence. This is the Beach com Combine? Com combine? I'm probably butchering that name, but I will have all the products that I used in this video listed down below for you so you can look at it. Here is the second one. I think this goes like magic. I'm so happy that I learned this trick. Uh, I have been seeing it for quite some while um, around you know, YouTube, uh, but I haven't tried it myself, not in like this scale, I haven't used it like for creating a lot of sentiments, but it worked perfectly every time and I'm so happy that I didn't have to fibble around with all of those letters separately. And of course I took the time off camera to take some double-sided tape um, or foam tape to the back of all of these just to create some interest. And this was also quite time consuming, but I love the result. I took um, a package of gems. This is the spread, uh, name, no, speed of light. And uh, I took, you can see it's a lot of colors in that set, but I took the green and the pink ones and just went around uh, the center part of the sun I actually thought of doing all the rays from the sun, but I decided not to do it because I thought it would be a little bit too much work. But this was so much fun and if you follow me on Instagram, you will see another card where I also created some clouds on another project. I had a ton of fun playing with all of those gems that Picket fans are having in their in their um, on their shop in their shop so go ahead and check those out as well. There is a lot of color combinations and they are always stunning. I will now leave you with a close-up of all of the products that we created in this video. I hope you got inspired to create something, maybe pull out some stencils and try the technique with the dyes and also try the technique with the gems. I had a lot of fun with that one. So thank you so much for stopping by. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye!